My name is Rolando Haddad from Core Combat Sports. My name is Nick Chewy Albin from Derby City Mixed Martial Arts in Louisville, Kentucky. My name is Scott Smith. I'm the owner of Gracie Jiu Jitsu of Kentucky in J Town. My name is Philip Perkins, and I'm with Area 502 Mixed Martial Arts. This is Chris Griffin, Griffin Submission Academy. Hi, guys. My name is Hilio Soneca from Core Combat Sport. My name is Alan Manganello from Gracie Jiu Jitsu Louisville. My name is Brian Jones from Valhalla Academy. Hey guys, I'm Ian Lawler from Somerset Martial Arts. My name is Garrett Watson with Made Fitness and Training Center. My name is Scott Elliott. My name is Gina Elliott. From AFS Academy, Tech Planet Richmond. Hi, my name is Eli Knight, and I'm a jiu-jitsu instructor in the state of Kentucky. My name is Adam Gomez. I'm from Georgetown Mixed Martial Arts. We're asking your support to help us fight for Kentucky jiu-jitsu. As a business owner, we uh, value the safety of our members first and closed one week prior to the government mandating to assess the situation. It's time to reopen. With light of new data, we believe we will be able to do our part by giving our students the option to come back and train. We are proposing our own guidelines in hopes of reopening. And while many social distancing measures are not conducive to jiu-jitsu training, we do have certain guidelines that we plan to put in place to ensure the safety and health and well-being of everybody involved. So our guidelines for reopening include having your temperature taken whenever you enter the training facility. Each member will take a survey regarding health and safety they will then be asked to sign a waiver understanding the risks involved. Common areas will be sanitized routinely, making sure any surface is wiped down. Hand sanitizing stations will be available for students before and after training. Members will be asked to take extra precautions and hygiene, making sure they take showers before they enter the facility. Training will be moved into three separate groups, making class sizes smaller and giving the ability to have a group quarantine if needed. Before and after all training sessions, the areas will be sanitized and cleaned, and all of the, the equipment will be wiped down. We will continue to offer online training resources for those who may be high risk or concerned. During this time, we have to come together as school owners to save Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in Kentucky. For a full list of the guidelines that we plan to put in place and to sign to help support this cause, click the link below. We hope to see you soon in the mat. Save Kentucky Jiu-Jitsu. Save Kentucky Jiu-Jitsu. Save Kentucky BJJ. Save Kentucky BJJ. Save Kentucky Jiu Jitsu. Save Kentucky Jiu Jitsu. Save Kentucky BJJ. Save the BJJ schools in Kentucky. What's up, guys? This is Tom the Blast. Save Kentucky Jiu Jitsu. Save Kentucky Jiu Jitsu. UFC fighter Justine Kish. Please save Kentucky Jiu Jitsu. Save Kentucky BJJ. Save Kentucky BJJ. Save Kentucky Jiu Jitsu. Save Kentucky Jiu Jitsu. Save Kentucky BJJ. We love you.